Our parents took us to church on Sundays, holidays mostly more than Sundays. I believed in God because I knew that's what I was supposed to do. I knew He existed. But it wasn't um, relationship-based. I needed to earn my way for Him to love me. My parents got divorced whenever we were really young. I was 10. I was 8. I was a little closer probably to Jesus than she was. I was angry. Very angry with Jesus that, you know, he was gonna let my family fall apart. I wouldn't say necessarily that I felt like that was our fault, but it kind of was one of those love things again. It was always that lack of love. Maybe they didn't stay together because they didn't love us enough. Relationships later on through high school, through being a mom, I'm a single mom now, and those people just don't care about me enough to, to stick around or I'm not enough. I was always reaching for that love in return so it kind of played out into my whole life. I started coming by myself. I used to make sure there was a seat in front of me empty and the seat next to me and then I had to be by the aisle because I literally didn't think I was worthy of sitting in there. And then I started bringing my girls and then one day my daughter comes home saying Joshua 1-9 all over the house, my seven-year-old. When you see what is being done in them, man, I needed to be able to keep up. There was no way, like, I was gonna be able to tell them, yeah, Jesus loves you without me believing it first. So I think for me, that was, that was all the convincing that I needed. I came my first time with a friend and there was this beautiful testimony. It just kinda, overflowed and it was just full of love. People love each other around here so much. You want what they have when you see the love that they're absolutely filled with. And once it fills you one time, you, you don't ever want that to go away, especially whenever you haven't had it for most of your life. I tried to find it everywhere else first. And all that time that I was looking, he was still right there just waiting for me. I just had to be here to be still and let him love me. I feel like I've become more open-minded, more forgiving, open-hearted. My life looks different, and I've slowly started to realize that a lot of our lives were you know, spent on speaking out of anger and speaking in defense of this, or we're this way because this happened to us, and we're this way because this happened to us. But now it's being equipped now to be able to take all the love that's poured into us and it back on other people. It feels so good to be able to confidently say that we know what it's like to be loved. There's nothing more you can do or anything less you can do that He'll love you any more or any less. You literally can just be you and He loves you anyway. That love that fills you, it just takes just a little bit, that's all. And it doesn't ever go away. I don't ever want it to go away. This baptism isn't to save us. It isn't to, you know, peak or anything like that. We, you know, we're, we're already living it. It's the act of proclaiming, but I already know that I've been saved, whether I do it or not. But letting everyone else out there know, you can be too. Everyone has those struggles. Everyone goes through those trials and we can overcome them through Jesus for Him to flow through us. We're loved by Jesus and we can overcome anything.